The summer I was going into sixth grade was no different from many others in my life. I started it off by marveling that the year was over, and then I progressed into baseball season. After baseball was done, I spent the rest of my summer with my grandparents at their house in Massachusetts. One day, completely out of the blue, I thought, you know what would be cool? Having my own iPod. So the next day, I talked to my grandfather about setting up a commission for the rest of my stay with them. So later that evening, we set up and printed a spreadsheet in which I could mark the tasks done and the hours. Since my grandfather is the best, he had me working with him on various projects throughout the summer. I don't exactly remember the conversation, word for word, but it went something like this. So I've been thinking, I said. That's a first, he said, knowing I didn't mind the jab. I was thinking about how I'd like to have my own iPod. That's good, but I don't have any money. Maybe we can work something out. That will be good. We agreed on an, on an hourly wage, and then went to bed. The very next day, we went outside and I helped by moving seaweed from one side of the beach to the next. Other days, I would help with digging or cutting down trees, or babysitting or gardening or mulching. We would work two or three hours a day, only going for more when a task needed to be completed that day. We would usually start pretty early in the morning, at least for summer. I would eat breakfast, put shoes on, I didn't wear them often in the summer, and we would get to work. We'd gather any and all tools to start the task. We'd stop at noon for lunch, and then we would keep going if we needed to. I would then stay outside all day, sometimes wakeboarding. It was a fun summer. At the same time, my grandpa's friend, Mr. Shippy, was undergoing serious double bypass surgery. Every day he would rake his beach to take care of any seaweed, sweep his dock to rid it of any sand, and water his plants. I must have been the most trustworthy kid in the area, because when he got the news of his surgery, he called my grandma and asked if I'd like to take these jobs. I accepted, of course. For two weeks, I would roll out of bed, throw on some flip-flops because it was summer, and I'd walk over. I would greet his wife, Mrs. Shippy, and then proceed to water some of his flowers. After those got watered, I would rake the beach, taking care of any seaweed. Since he had a dock for his motorboat, it needed to be swept of any and all sand. I would flick the sand off with the broom first going up, then down. This wouldn't take very long, and it became a part of my daily routine. After Mr. Shippy was finally home, ready to continue taking care of his beach flowers and dock, he called me into his house. Knowing I was about to get paid, I composed myself as best I could. He was sitting in a chair when I came in. He asked how the carrier had gone, and we talked for a short while about that. Finally, he got out his checkbook. When he told me what he thought I deserved, I think I forgot to breathe. After he gave me the check, we shook hands and parted ways temporarily. A month later, I was finally ready to make my purchase. After a month of working for a few hours a day and having fun doing so, I was finally ready to buy myself an iPod Touch. A month or so into school, I went out and got it with my mom. I've been trying to get it earlier, but you can only get, to get out to Best Buy on a Friday afternoon. One of the things I remember from the experience is wondering where I should bag the idea and just spend it freely during the year. Looking back on it, I'm glad I didn't. Since I had the check from my grandpa and the check from Mr. Shippy, my mom put the $200 bill on her credit card. When I got home, I synced up all my stuff and went to the football game at the high school that night, and I felt accomplished. I didn't realize that I was giving up time I could have been spending with my friends until years later. A lot of the time when I was younger, my motto was, play now, pay later. When I took the time to earn something big like the iPod, I realized I was capable of working for something that I really wanted. Until then, I hadn't really fashioned myself a worker. I did chores around the house, but they were difficult work. I wasn't a lazy person, I just didn't want to work. It's possible. After I finally realized what hard work could do for me, I started my own lawn mowing company. Go like it on Facebook. Just kidding. Now that I realize that being a hard worker is a good trait to have, I've completely changed the way I do things. Before I started working, I would find the easiest way to do things and do that. Now that I'm doing something, I always try to do it as best I can. Finding out that earning something was good was probably the biggest breakthrough I've made yet, and I will never forget the first time I identified something I desired, worked for it, and got it on my own.